did that part. Okay, sound is on. Everybody's happy. So we've had an eventful day today. We've had puppies being born. Let's see here if I can back up. Yeah, Blake, uh, I kind of figured people would see that today. <laughs> uh, I was feeding three at a time, and Blake decided to have his own little mindset. So basically what happened is the three of them were there. Blake was not behaving. The other two were behaving okay. I had control of it, but once you threw, put the Blake in with the other two, uh, it, I wasn't in control, and it got confusing to the other two dogs that were doing something right. So I basically took Blake, put Blake back in the kennel, fed the two that were behaving and doing things right, and then brought Blake out by himself and made Blake do what he was supposed to do by himself. So that's basically why that happened. Confusion is not a good thing with dogs, and not having control is not a good thing with dogs. So if you get to that point where you lose that, you need to just stop the world and reevaluate what you got going. In that case, Blake needed to go in timeout until I got done with the other two. Oh, 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 okay. And I think Blake knew it because Blake was barking quite a bit beforehand, but once he got put back in there and told to wait, he wasn't barking anymore. I think in his mind he was going, Oh boy, now I'm in trouble. I'm going to see the I'm going to see the principal now. <laughs> and then you'll notice Blake did do fine after he went out by himself. So there was you know, I probably will tomorrow morning we'll do the same thing with him just so he understands what he's supposed to be doing and then bring him back into a, another smaller group. Oh, my bandaid. Podrick and John are doing super. When I took her down there, all she wanted to do was like, she'd just stop and turn around and look like she Uh, Charlie's doing very well. Walking better than I am right at the moment. His, his uh, little scar there is healed up really good. You really can't even see it anymore except for one little spot that hasn't quite healed all the way. But he's doing fine. He's right back. He's not. He wasn't affected at all. He's still goofy Charlie. And Megan and Colleen are on the way to a conference. So you will have me and Olivia here tomorrow. And I believe Olivia is doing trainer talk tomorrow. How's your tummy? Just doing good. We're making it. Okay. One step at a time. I'm not out there lifting dog bags or anything like that, but <laughs> I'm walking a little gingerly. But that over time will change. Okay. How about Tanner? Did you find him yet? I have not. I did text him last night, but I don't know if he has football practice today or not. So I'm, I'm sure I'll hear something well, probably well, tonight. You're not going to let him play football, are you? I didn't want him to. That's dangerous. Uh-oh. Of course. Nice travel, Callie. Majestic Dragon. Oh. Is that you? Gretchen are, uh, yes, uh, we're in the process of trying to link both Washer and Gretchen up. Uh, where we're Grace? a little slow on that is because Washer and Gretchen are both very short dogs. Grace, the mother's out of there. Which means that the um, recipient is going to have to be shorter. Uh, 
huge. It's not a huge deal. We you know we just go through and make sure that it gets. So we are um, aggressively looking for somebody for Gretchen and Washer. Um, both Gretchen and Washer <coughs> are, were a little bit behind, especially Gretchen anyways. So they'll be fine. We'll get them hooked up. And we still have um, Brad to go, and we're working on that. we got to start making some room for some other puppies. Seems we just got five more today. And we got, I don't know how many over there, eight? I guess it's over. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten in there. Uh, the way we work the dogs are we have three primary trainers, Megan, myself, and Olivia. And we have a list. And my Monday might be Olivia's Tuesday, and it might be... Uh, Megan's Wednesday, but then we switch them around and it, the order gets all skedazzled. So every dog goes with every trainer on a rotating basis. So our goal is to get every dog out every day. Uh, and that requires three of us being here uh, the way we're set right now. Uh, so there are a couple days that uh, there are only two of us. And then on Saturday and Sunday, which are more maintenance and down days, uh, we have one trainer on the property. There's always a trainer on the property during open hours. So, uh, and well, for that matter, Carlene's here 24 hours Bentley. a day normally. Yo, so, Benny, Benny, oh. back it up. Oh, oh. So, uh, yes, and then that's to the standards should be the same. No training, yes. no. And, and they are. I mean, we, we know each other and how we do everything. We all do it pretty much the same with some little variances to it. But it exposes them to different people. And, you know, Megan likes to go certain places more than I do. And Olivia has certain places that she likes to. Um, and we evaluate and we talk about it all the time. If we start to see an issue with a certain dog, usually the three of us will sit down and talk about it. We'll discuss, look back through the notes, discuss you know what each one thinks what their problems have been with it um so it's it it works out really well it's a well-rounded schedule you may pass get out of here and the musicians are starting to leave the property yes she's coming back in everybody out of the way no i don't do any of the birthing thing other than stick my head in every now and then that's all up to carlene and grace and Everybody else that wants to do that. I'm too busy doing other things. I don't have any interest in it. I couldn't even watch my own kids being born. There you go. There you go. Out of the way. Good girl, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one is my water. This one is yours. Okay. 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 This I did put you on. You better know. Okay. Here, so I know it's Thursday. <laughs> I will see everybody in the morning. Okay. Check up on Santa, will you? Yes, I will. See if we can have him Saturday. Okay. It's under there. <laughs> sure. Uh, there. I get too many stools. I get too tangled up. Well, there's another one. That's what the problem is. There's another one. <laughs> well, it's holding your tape right. I keep getting caught on them. Good, you're going to get the food. Yeah. I wonder. Everybody's busy. Have you got, okay, good. Have you, have you got money to go for the food? I paid. Oh, uh, you did. Card, and I have a still part of a gift certificate left over from here. Okay. So I'm going to go get it. And um, I'm going to take your notebook with me. Huh? I'm going to take Miss Chaos for a ride. Oh, okay. That'd be fine. Wild day at Black Rock. Okay, let's go. 
We are five puppies, five, six puppies. We have six? We are six more puppies. Oh, another one came? Yeah. Oh. This is your left, Steve. Oh, figures. Figures. Six puppies we are. Deborah Carmen. This is wonderful. Thomasville, Georgia. Now, will you please get out of the way in case the, in case the hurricane is? I'm heard. I'm hurting that it's coming your way. Yeah, Georgia and North Carolina, South Carolina. Well, I just heard that the Georgia just got told to start evacuating. Really? Which some of the people from <coughs> Texas had gone. I mean, Florida had gone up to Georgia. Right. To be with our CPs in Georgia. Now we got to move to Georgia. I have a daughter in North Carolina, the backwoods someplace. I don't know what she'd think about everybody moving in on her, but that'd be too bad, I suppose. Here we go. You're running all over the southeastern United States, huh? Right. Good. She mailed this 9-1. So that first one was from whom again? I'm sorry. Deborah Carmen. Deborah Carmen. Large check. Large check. With zeros. Hmm. Zeros are good. Nice. Okay, and here we have Cheer. Cheer is with us. You should take your job seriously, but not yourself. Huh, that's the best combination. Okay. According to a 215 survey, moms who nag around the house have daughters who tend to be more successful later in life. Do I nag around the house? Do you nag? Do I nag around the house? No, I scream. Thing. I'm going to plead the fifth. Huh? I'm going to plead the fifth. <laughs> well, the sixth, though, no, wait a minute. I thought you were going to take a fifth. <laughs> no, I could do that, too. <laughs> Not being funny doesn't make you a bad person. Not having a sense of humor does. Huh, Okay. Average phone call today is 60% shorter than it was 10 years ago. That's because all that texting gets in there. Uh, hey! I wonder... Jan? I wonder... Maybe it's there, all the images. get that from there to there. What happens if I drag it and drop it? <laughs> well, what happened? We'll worry about that later. Supposedly, I have all the pictures from all the calendars over five years, and I'm making them into one picture which will then be available. One collage. That's what we're trying to do. Be available at Dogfest and afterwards. Okay. Here we have Dodge. Ames. Oh, oh one nine one three. That's got to be Massachusetts. It's got to be Amesbury. Right? Yeah, probably. It's an applicant. Oh, okay. topic of this how to make an application we have must read life with a service dog by Bella's mom and Carlene's comments on owning a service dog I must have done that huh <laughs> <laughs> and it was good that was good <laughs>
Okay, well, that goes in here. I we'll figure that one out. And then we have... Um, Mayor Rays, Southbridge, Massachusetts. A little hard time with the front, front name there. <sighs> Southbridge, Mass. Okay. on the application doesn't match the one on the envelope. But what the heck? Okay. What do I know? What do I know? That's a big envelope. Is this this one you just gave me, is this a recipient as well or no? It is a recipient. Okay. That's all I got. That was it? That's it. Well, I got a couple packages. You got bones. I got a package. A bones. can use them. Ship an Amazon box selected. Okay. Here's an end. Ship in Amazon box selected. I wonder if Eileen, Eileen, did you get to pick the Amazon box or did they tell you which one? It fits very nicely. Some of the Amazon boxes don't fit very well and I'm wondering who picked that box out? Are you minus a foot again? I am. Well, here, I got another. I got another one over here. It's what broke. Well, that's all right. I'll for now. It's good. I don't want you half-assed on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's awfully nice of you. If you switch it, you'd be better off. But what do I know? I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> Neither do I. Well, um, you could switch the stools. I could. Would that be exciting? Because yeah, well, it would be. Oh. We have anything else to do. And I, guess I don't think you, that thing weighs as much as you do. No, I don't believe it does. You put that outside. Oh, I'm going to. And by the time we get this one untangled, this is the problem I have around here. I can't do that. Go ahead. You're on your own. You got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, this is a comfy one. I like this. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. There we go. Rolls nicely. I like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> could be turned up if you wanted it turned up, but I'm good. Good. Well, you just stay right there. Then. Okay. All right. So these puppies are getting rambunctious. Just when these arrived, we got to watch them. Yeah, I know. Really. We were almost up to two people at night. <coughs> um, Blue Penguin says um, CPs in eastern side of Florida. They just released an update. They moved to Irma approximately 30 miles inland, entering Miami, riding the coastline at Daytona. Could be a weak cat four. <laughs> a weak cat four, strong three. Um, through, I'm not sure where that, around two ish. And then through South, South Georgia, uh, category one, going towards Atlanta. But no, it is still too early, too early to say if it has. It's still by the Dominican Republic, so anyway. Huh. Um, well, just everybody be safe. 
It's a big storm and everybody get out of there if you can. Gigantic storm. I know. Get out. Get out. You know, all the people. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get around them. And they didn't get gas. And now <coughs> they've got long lines of people with half a tank. I know. They're you know, going to get halfway up the coast of Florida, and the, the, the hurricane's going to chase them. And they're going to run out of gas. And they're going to run out of gas. It's going to be a, a zoo. And and why on earth? Everybody's go out buying water when the water and all in Miami is perfectly all right to run it out of the faucet. But they're all running to the store and Just buying with some buckets out. You get all the water you I want. Know. You know? Um, I know. To fill up every jar you had and things like that. I'm coming over, they can't see me. Oh, we gotta put this over too? How's that? Is that there better? You go, there you go. Um, Why is it? Regina is offering rooms in Georgia. Awfully nice of you, Regina. And Betty even in the, on Cape Cod. And Pam. Well, God knows if they get up here, they can stay in the new life. house. <laughs> in the, yeah. the ICU. Yeah, really. <clears throat> well, there's somebody traveling with a Dane that they were trying to fall in with Pam. Somebody unavailable. Oh, dear. Service dog project. This is Carlene. Oh, give me a break. No, no. No, no. Never, never, never. Don't ever make these. Oh, I hate those calls. How do they get my name? Miss Carlene? I thought I was somebody I was supposed to be pleasant to. <laughs> uh, screw that one. <laughs> Don't tell me it was a sales call. How'd you guess? Who's that is? Thank you, Snow Dog Kai. Um, Did you get some Chinese food out of this, Grace? No, that's okay. Huh? No, I chose not to. Oh dear. We have cheese, mac and cheese, someplace I heard. Um, Pro wheel. Congratulations and staff on the new litter. Um, nice lady. Um, Carlene, would you ever consider building another kennel? <laughs> With or without the building inspector. <laughs> well, I, mean, I think we're... Well, don't forget, we still have barn that we haven't used. Yeah. We throw the horses out back. <laughs> I got another... You, know. I, you never say never around here. I like building things. Like I'm that. not even going there. <laughs> they don't, all the camera people don't realize what's going on behind the arena. I have a 20 foot by 36 foot building going up. It's a pretty up. good it's, size building. It is pretty good size. Yeah, well, it, it got bigger than, it got bigger than I intended because they delivered more lumber than I thought I needed. So you just made it bigger? We just made the building bigger. <laughs> it basically will use up the entire length of the arena that collapsed. And I wanted to do that before something else happened. And I meant, oh, I meant to call ClearSpan today. ClearSpan are the ones that put up that arena and find out if it's better to leave the doors open or shut. In a windstorm. Oh, in a windstorm. Well, what else would there be a question? Maybe I, there's something I don't know. A good, a good question. I would think open, but mm -hmm. I think open is the correct answer. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't really know. They're the engineers. We'll ask them. We'll ask. Did you want to make a bet on this or anything? No, because I, I, I think, think we're both on the same side. I think open. I That's think no open. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Well, do you want me to say closed and then we can argue about it? <laughs> yeah. All right, and we'll make a bet. Well, see, we'd have the barn doors would also affect it. <clears throat> well, not necessarily. You got that white door. Well, yeah, but the doors, the just big think doors, of all the little holes, the little doggy doors. If the wind's blowing the right direction. Well, yeah. Well, you've got those. Well, okay, so first of all, which direction is it? Fa it's facing north south, correct? 
I don't know. It could be. I think it's facing north south. I'll go along with that. <clears throat> so prevailing winds around here are from the west northwest most of the time. Storms come from the northeast. I know that storms come over Partridge Berry Place. I can see them coming. So that's the west. That's the west. That, yeah, day is dying in the west. The sun's over there. That's where fronts come from. Yes. Yep. So if the sides are facing east-west, I would go for open because then most of the, a lot of the wind can blow through. The end doors are so small. They're, I mean, they're, they're, they're not really going to have any effect, I wouldn't think. The end doors? The end doors, the arena, to the, I mean, to the, the alleyway to the barn. Right. Well, there's one out to the outside. And there's one on the other end, too. On the other end, yeah. yeah. Right next to your nice new little mini barns. And the hay loft? Uh, well, hay loft is even open. You know, yeah, you don't want any wind blowing around up there. <laughs> <laughs> What's down on the end of the hayloft by the arena? Dog stuff. Dog stuff? Yeah. Pools. Oh, okay. Yeah. As long as it's all organized up there. And you're going to give me a list of hay and grain to order, shavings. I'd like to, I'd like to get it from Dodge Grain. I'm really a little annoyed with the co-op, even if I am a member. Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just sitting here waiting. You're a stream of consciousness here. I'm just letting you go. Okay. Um, <coughs> here comes um, Annie. No, stop messing. Stop messing. Carol La so La El Sola. Um, do we have six puppies now? Yes, we do. Um, five boys, one girl, and one um, DOA. DOA, unfortunately. One stillborn. When they are totally flaccid, they just, you don't know how long they've been like that. Um, mm. They rarely come back. Yeah. Was that one you worked on? or I, did, I wasn't here. Megan did. Oh, okay. Mm. Well, she has, she has five healthy ones right now. No, six healthy ones. She has six healthy ones right now, which is great. The small one is very healthy. It's great. Small one has a round tummy already, so it's drinking something. Um, Blue Penguin says Jacksonville, or Jayville is Jacksonville, where I and Vanessa and Michelle and Sue are located. Good luck, all of you. Get the hell out. You know, get out if you can. Um, well, there's Diane in Tennessee. She's inland. <laughs> yeah. Just don't go to Texas, whatever you do. No, Texas is out. I would go to Louisiana. That's a bad theme. Hey, 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 hey. careful. That's not nice. Um, Can we stop being gross? We're up here. How many, how many thousand people can we put here, do you think? <laughs> put the TP back up. We could put up a couple, too. There's hotels in the area. I'm sure FEMA will help you for those. Everybody up here has got too big a house. You know? <coughs> Everybody I know has got too big a house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's Ann Getchell with that mansion that nobody, as far as I know, nobody's living in it. The Winthrop. Well, it's what's huge. You get people over there. It's huge with 12, 12 foot ceilings. Oh, it's old. It's ancient. Oh, is that right? Oh, it's a relic. It's the original Governor Winthrop. Oh, wow. That's who she is. Did you know? You knew that. She's originally a Winthrop? She is. Well, yeah. She's the, well, the granddaughter. There you go. She's, my, she's the <coughs> landowner of all the corn. <laughs> she, they rent from the yeah. corn people, and we go and pick it up by mistake. At any rate, on we go. That we played Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It didn't take long either. <laughs> no, and we got the same problem now with beans. Oh, no. Well, that's, we didn't sack those. Those are ours. I know they are. I've been eating them raw. <laughs> They're good for a while, or aren't they laying there like that? Yeah, you can put them in the refrigerator or freeze them. Well, if you freeze them, you got to parboil or something, Boil don't you? Them, yeah. 
They're perfectly all right sitting there. I, I keep eating them. Go ahead. What do we got? I'm waiting. <laughs> really? It's okay. I don't have any more. Oh, all right. Regina said Nancy with the Dane was going to her house, but it's now going to Pam's house in South Carolina. Okay. Um, Gail J says you need to zoom the camera out a little bit. I think it's okay. It's fine. I think. Especially if I'm not showing, it's good. We could, we could turn it and show. Nah, nah, nah. That's okay. Show Grace. Yeah. No, she didn't want to be showed. Um, okay. Okay. See, I can't see it because. I can't see it on Safari. I have to be on Chrome to see it. Regina wants to know if we need dinner, and Mew says Linda Kay went to pick it up. Regina says, okay, missed it. Betty says, we ordered Chinese. <laughs> Thank you for keeping tabs on us. Appreciate it. Yeah. <clears throat> and for offering, Regina. Very nice. Otherwise, we'd be getting hungry. Uh-huh. And, well. There's our shot. You better put all the puppies, Lynn. Why have you got puppies in the basket? Because Mer was resting. What'd she say? She was resting. The dog is resting. No, the dog. Oh. Yeah. I think she ought to keep them together. When did you guys have in the morning? Swimming? Okay, moving on. Moving on. I think we're going to... Uh... My pockets have been robbed. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Ali Sparks wants to know, Lynn, if you're going to, is there, is there a uh, theme for the litter? No. No? And if you're going to pick names for the pups? Uh, they'll be picked before I leave. We'll they'll be picked before she leaves. And we'll have to weigh them. <clears throat> we'll have to weigh them. When Uncle Steve plays with these guys. Any, uh, well, Judy was to get an, uh, when, was Judy going to come up with some, or she abdicated the whole thing to the, oh, I don't know. the mother? And any update on the donkey blood test? No. Nope. Nothing. He said okay. it would take a week. What? A week. He said a week. Oh. At least. Are you glad I remembered? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things that wasn't going to make an awful lot of difference to remember. Yeah, it's a little bit late to be stocking up on supplies down there. Just get out. You get out. Get them somewhere else. Oh, the, the, the fact that the gas and everybody's on the road and the hot, and the and the damn hurricane is coming right up Florida. I know it. Um, Doris is uh, reminiscing about the uh, thunderstorm slash microburst uh, at the second dog fest. Oh, it worked well. Doors were open on both sides. That was that was quite a storm. That was, come on, what was the song? The song. What was the song they were singing when that happened? Somewhere over, over the, the rain. rainbow. And what's the what's the last line? Uh, and um, it's why oh why can't why oh why can't and I? then boom Bang. <laughs> the thunder came it was and right on the key. <laughs> that was I'll tell amazing. You, that was amazing. <coughs> oh, jumped a mile. Uh. Miami Beach is on mandatory evac um, evacuation. Um, Where the hell are they going to go? They're doing, they're, they're you have to go, go hundreds of miles away. Yes, and there's not that much gas. I can I I watched on television the uh, state troopers, Florida state troopers, escorting tankers down the other direction. Hey, hey, hey. And the road going north was absolutely packed. Yeah. I don't know. Um, the guy in work that I worked with, his, he had a friend who was in Puerto Rico and couldn't get out. They canceled his flight. And he ended up having to hunker down there. And, um, oh, God. Um, and they said St. Thomas and St. John are basically just flattened. It's just, it's just unbelievable. Yeah. Um, Janet Single wants to know what your, happened to your hand, Grace. She cut it. <laughs> oh, Grace, you need one of my hand things. No, no, let's just hold my band-aid on back longer. <laughs> she cut it, and I being a nurse... She cut it on a chicken fence. She cut it on a chicken fence, and being a nurse, she tended to it herself. Right. Next time, I'm going to stitch it myself. <laughs> I'll stitch it for you. I'll do an X. <laughs> well, I've got some of those funny stickers. 
Oh, the, yeah, the surgery, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I found that those surgery strips yeah. are great over the tips of your cracked fingers. Oh, yeah. Because they don't get in the way. You know, you try and oh, bend. Oh, the steri strips? The steri strips. Yeah, yeah. They work well. <laughs> that stuff There's that... More poop to go around. Someone here told us about a couple of years ago um, that that hand bomb yep. that we use. Bag um, bomb? Bag bomb? No, no, the, the green stuff. Um, That's bag bomb. No, no, it wasn't. It's not. Oh, the, yeah, I know what you mean. You know, uh, blah, blah, blah. anyway, that that is because my fingers crack all the time, and I and I haven't had any cracks this year. It works great. Yeah, well, that's, that's if you have no cracks. That's if you pay attention. Yeah. To that. Well, but you, if you don't, and you yeah. begin to get the cracks, then you need those stereo yeah, trips. Yeah, those are good. Stereo yeah, trips good. work real well. I don't have any more in my pocket. <coughs> you stole them all already. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Grandma R5, Susan, says friend of hers left Southern Florida early and has not found gas yet available. Yeah. Like, how, how is she getting around? WS from Texas wants to know, two overnighters or just one? Two. Two. Apparently. Apparently we have two. We're going to try for two. We're going to need two. With these guys. Have we, got, have we got somebody coming? Good. Katie's mom, Pam, according to Regina, is taking a bunch of evacuees, including Nancy with the Dane. I heard, that's the one I heard about, yeah. That's great. They'll have a good that time. Great. They'll have a good time. Well, I hope they're out of the path. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's it's such a huge storm. These should be the refugees. What? These should be the refugees. Why? Back the dog, the sixth dog, the, the litter day. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, Tina says, somewhere over the rainbow, rain, rainbow thunder, woo, woo. <laughs> um, why, oh, why can't I? Yeah. Birds fly over the rainbow. Jacqueline says, first time I've seen Steve without a hat on. Nice, and nice lady says, nice to see his gorgeous head of hair. Thank you. What's okay. left of it? Say, <laughs> look. See, it's yeah. all that moose. <laughs> it's all the moose? All that moose. Moose? Well, I don't moose use moose. <laughs> oh, hey. boys. <laughs> isn't this an exciting? <laughs> we're all exhausted. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm too exhausted to chew. That's tired. Okay. Crafter says, usually people are safer in their homes than stuck in their cars on the highway in a storm. Safer in their homes than the car? Than, in the, than stuck in the cars. They're going to be stuck in cars. Nice lady says, my good friend from college is a zookeeper at Miami Zoo. Mm -hmm. Her house was destroyed 25 years ago in Homestead, Florida. Yep, they were talking about Homestead. <clears throat> they were talking about what they were doing at the zoo. In the zoo, most of the cages and all are big cement block type places anyway, so they we're too worried about that stuff. Kasha says they should have trucks that are able to pump gas into the cars along the road. There are there are thousands of cars. There's no way they could pump gas into all of them. But it's a, it's a good idea. But well, I don't know what they're doing with it. That I, I don't know. Maybe they need that though because you get a whole bunch. Of, <coughs> they're a whole stuck. people. That what do you do? Yeah. Oh, uh, Doris says O'Keefe's. Yep, that's it. Working hands. That's the stuff in the green. In the green. That, and thank you. I couldn't. Having a, an old person moment. Um, that, that stuff is amazing. It's great. Thank you, Oregon. O'Keefe? Abby. O'Keefe's, yeah. O'Keefe's, yeah. I've heard of it. I'll get you one. There's green. Okay. Oh, yeah, you've seen in fact, I probably have one in my car. Green. Oh, I always carry an extra. I don't know what the blue one's for. Um, for days when you're down. <laughs> <laughs> And what? Green is for when you feel like Kermit? <laughs> Green is for when you feel like Kermit. Ah. You okay? Uh, I'm fine. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, Grandma R5, Susan says, Friends said they, they'd camp out in line at gas station until a truck comes with gas. They have an RV. Holy mackerel. I don't think... I don't, I, if, oh, I don't know what the hell I would do. I would spend my remaining gas, I think, running around looking for a concrete building. 
somebody I there somebody I heard was going to go down the cellar. I didn't think that was very good. The people in the crane with the high rises with the big cranes, construction cranes near them. Yeah. Oh. They're just going to let them spin. The cranes. Oh, jeez. They're taking the brake off so they can just spin. And spin around no. in the wind, really? Yes. Really? So they don't tip they're, over? They're taking, the, they're taking the brakes off so the, the cranes can go around. The Holy truck. mackerel. But there's an awful lot that condenses down. Well, yeah. They said everybody that lives in the building near them has to evacuate, too. They would drop that bar. They wouldn't. Those cranes, those cranes get hauled on the road. No, but the ones that are bolted on the new buildings that are they're being built with construction. Are those bolted on? Well, I don't know. They got, they're attached somehow, but yeah, they're just letting the top spin. Really? Wow. That could be fun to watch. That would be fun. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. want to be the it. No. Nope. You, thank you. Um, just so you know, nice lady said we could hear your whisper. <laughs> <laughs> what what the I refugees' heard? names could be. <laughs> and then there's, I don't want to influence Lynn. <laughs> and then there's name. How and come you could hear that whisper when you always tell me you can't hear him? <laughs> hear me. Yeah. Apparently the Damn microphone's it. better than you think. Uh, I'm glad that's what I whispered. Not <laughs> <laughs> me too. Some of the other things I thought of whispering. Oh boys, is the mic on? Is the mic off? <laughs> Uh, Maybe we should like do some whispering and see what kind of a noise level we can get. You know, like how low we can go. Like, yeah, see if pick us up. Huh? Well, there's 500 people watching us. <laughs> <laughs> God forbid. Well, that's that's well, sorry for them. <laughs> um. Well, I bought some simple green to wash the barn with. That's my next large project. It's right there. I couldn't remember the name of it. It's simple. I'm, right. <laughs> right. <Green. laughs> yeah. Um, what part of the barn? Yeah, I've heard it. I've never what used it, but I've heard it. Get washed? What's that? What part of the barn? The walls. The bird shit on the walls. Inside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really ugly. If I got it stripped down, then it could be somebody could put some polyurethane on it at Mail Fall at Dogfest. But you can't probably yeah. urethane over that bird poop. The thing is, though, there's so much dust in there. If you urethane it, it's just gonna it's gonna look like mohair afterwards. That's what you think? Oh, we guess, I guess we can't do it then. Forget it. That's what you the could. I'm for. just you know. Don't say I'm being negative. I'm you being, are. I'm being practical. <laughs> Steve, that's what the simple green is for. I'll shut up. Had to come up with all the negative things. <laughs> <laughs> you can with anything and you think, well, six people will tell you why not or what you might have worry about and things. It's hey, 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 a good plan again. We'll just, we'll just spray down the sawdust. It'll be fine. <clears throat> yeah, Zizzy from Connecticut says there are many active cranes high up on buildings in Miami right now and they're all set to spin around in the wind. Yep. Wow. That was an interesting thing you knew. How'd you find that out? From the news. What news? I don't know. Channel 5. <laughs> <laughs> the news they really watch. WCBV. <laughs> Gino Benitez, I think he's down in Miami. Oh, no, I can't believe the they put some of these reporters out there in the oh, middle yeah, of storms. Oh, yeah, Puerto Rico. She's I, there. It's, you know, remember. There's one, Gino Benitez is in the Miami Keys. There's um, one poor bugger down on the Keys. Yeah, that's Gio Benitez, and then there's somebody out in Miami. And I'm talking about the talking to people about one guy who's got like uh, impact resistant glass now on his apartment, so he's staying. He <laughs> the whole and despite having the yeah, despite having the cranes <clears throat> nearby, huh. he's staying. Mm -hmm. I'm staying in my house. I, I, some of these people. Well, I've been here for 40 years, and I've never had a problem, so I'm going to stay here. Holy smokes. All the homestead people know. They're, said they're, they're evacuating. Yeah. They said, what? Nope. Yeah. 25 years ago. Okay. Where's the <coughs> oh. All right. So they're saying they can pick up our whispers, and Blue Penguin says we should all tell a bad joke, even to get some giggles. 
And then so bio P, bio BC has given us a joke. A skeleton has walked into a bar and said, give me a beer, and a mop. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good. I like That's that That's not one. bad. Heard that one, but I'll try it. I was in a blizzard, and the regular delivery person couldn't go out and deliver a magazine, so I had to go around to all these small variety stores. I went to a small variety store in Lowell, Mass., and there was a whole bunch of kids in there because the school hadn't... There was no school, so they were all going to the oh, store to buy candy. And they were all in there buying, I love a yellow one down there on the bottom. No, I have the pink one on the top. And they were taking forever. And I'm standing there with my receipt that I've, I've got to get paid for these magazines. And finally, I got up to the register and I said to, them, I said to the guy, gee, you're awfully nice to these kids. And he said, why shouldn't I be? Maybe half of them are mine. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a dead true story. <laughs> And it's one acre variety in Lowell, Massachusetts. <laughs> Probably kids are running it now. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Jeanette Ye Yeadon says she loves your sliding scale story on Doggy Daily. <laughs> That's the same that happens in her office at work. Yep. I didn't. Well, there is a Parkinson law about if if one person is kind of overburdened, you never hire somebody to help them. You hire two people underneath them. Mm. And that's what we've had here all summer with all the interns. Mm. Everybody has had two interns underneath them. <laughs> and they're all going back to school now. I know. Oh. Okay, Burmy. A boy comes home from school for, from his first comes home from his first day of school and his mother asks, What did you learn today? Not enough, he replies. They said I have to go back tomorrow. <laughs> Linda Rice says, power wash the walls. That's what I was going to do. This is mm -hmm. That's what I got the green soap for. There you go. Because it will also peel off all the polyurethane. That that's a powerful, <coughs> powerful machine. If you oh. start down by the white door and just work out the door, it'll blow everything out the door. Yeah, that is a powerful one. That thing's nuclear powered. Yeah. <coughs> um, Pro Wheel, a.k.a. Marge, who was here recently. Hi, Marge. Um, says uh, her son is an EMS dispatcher in Manatee County in Florida. He lives in Zone C. No forced evacuation at this time, but will be locked in all at work all Saturday through Tuesday and Wednesday. Huh. Good. Hey, medical people will be locked up, too. Yeah, I would think so, too. They're locked in during the bomb. Remember the, you remember the blizzard of 78. Where was I? I was here. No. I was still in Linfield. Well, but you were here. No, 79 was here. No, no, but I mean you were in the Other area. Lives, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Walked into the <coughs> and that may have been the... That was, uh, that was an interesting year. And um, who was... Oh, okay, here's... Well, no, we can't use as... I, I, I haven't done a trivia question because we've been so, like, so many things going on today. But I was gonna just think of something, but most of the people don't do it. Think, don't do a spur of the moment because then it's not good. Well, they wouldn't know it anyway. Um, remember um, Shelby Scott? No, no. I know, I know the name. She was on Channel Four, and she she was oh, yeah, 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 she yeah. was out in every storm, yes. any storm, hurricane, blizzard, anything. She was out there, and they still talk about her to this day. Huh. She's she was out there all the time. I didn't know her. Either Channel 4 or Channel 5. She was 4. Yeah. yeah. I knew Liz Walker. Oh, <coughs> yep. Liz, yeah. Liz Walker is a minister now. Is she? Yes. In oh. Boston. Wow. Yep. She was nice. Um, Kasha says, Sam Champion lives in Miami, is staying. He did weather for Good Morning America. He'll be doing weather correspondence for NBC. You can follow him on Facebook. Holy moly. Huh. Shauna Mitchell says you could house a hundred or so people in the arena on cots and barker beds. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Bales of hay. Stephen J. Blizzard of 78. Three feet of snow in Connecticut was his first exposure to driving in snow. Junior in high school. Holy oh. moly. People forget that year, though. We had, like, two weeks before that, we had 20-something inches okay. of snow. And then we had... A complete thaw, and it all melted, and then we got the blizzard. 
huh. on top of it. Where, where I lived, we had 42 inches. I vaguely remember it. But, see, it was a lot easier down there. Because being in Linfield with a husband who was a doctor, oh, yeah. the town plowed me out. Oh, wow. You know, they couldn't get, because he was, he was, I've forgotten what he was. Had something to do with the emergency room. Hmm. He, even when we moved here, wherever he lived, he was supposed to be within 20 minutes of the emergency room. Hmm. Well, we had the street that we lived on didn't get plowed off for a week. So we, see, see, that, because of me, the thing got, I mean, because of him, he got, it got plowed out. That's great. So therefore, I could deliver magazines. <laughs> Uh, Michelle Mitchell says, PM was going to give a spirit stick count a couple of days ago. I tried to, I told her you wanted to use it for a trivia question, so she, she wouldn't say it on camera. I'm, I'll do a count tonight, and um, we'll use that for next week. Look at that. Look at those puppies now. Lynn has them all organized. There you go. All by color. Yeah. <laughs> They look good, Lynn. That's her. That's that dog's first litter. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all organized now. <laughs> well, fortunately, it's a manageable size for her, too. Yeah. See, they're, oh. Yeah. Your dinner's here. Dinner's here. All okay. Right. All right. Thank you, everyone. Everybody stay safe, and uh, we will Things see like you in that. a couple of days. Well, I will. They'll see you tomorrow. Can I do that? <sighs> yeah, I can, by God. I can now. Everybody go look at Grace. <laughs> Too much. Oh, wait a minute. We don't need so much bed, shall we? So we halfway. Come down a That's pretty good. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And this thing's got to go off now so that people don't have to call me on the phone and say, the microphone's still on. Which I really appreciate it when they do that because a lot of times, goodbye. I could experiment and see whether I could get sound in that puppy birth room. I'll try. So, at some point we can leave them. The other ones I think finally conked, or mostly conked. I'll just go throw the laundry into the dryer, because I think it's done. I'm trying to keep ahead with towels. Mm -hmm. I actually have stuff to bring in here because this is only a couple of things in it. I brought a bunch of shit towels in. There's only one left in here. Toss it down. And then I can get the scale out. You, you're fine, honey. Well, fine. About fine. I must have another bucket then. I just brought one up. That was blue though. This is quilts. This is big. Ducks. We're going to need to look some of these things up. <laughs> it's very sweet, so it's going to be some kind of syrup.
there is. Mm -hmm. Don't put it in there. <laughs> Ferdinand. Yeah, that's kind of a bull. Fernando. Now we can make a Fernando. <laughs> Umberto. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Lorenzo. Remember Lorenzo Lamas? <laughs> Pablo. Sebastian. Van. Van what? Van Dyke. I'll go with Barry. Barry Van. <laughs> Dorian. Their ostrich knees. Cristobal. That's the one that you must have seen. Edward. Well, we call him Eduardo. Gonzalo. Isaiah. Kyle. Marco. That's what we said. Marco and Polo. <laughs> Omar. Wilfred. I know a Wilfred. He was a nice guy. Oh. And then Bill. Danny. Fred. Henri. That's 2021. So they're going, they're getting like Julian, and then there's Kate and Larry, <laughs> or Mindy, Nicholas, we already have that, Odette, Peter, Rose, Sam, Teresa, Victor, and Wanda. <laughs> hmm. Those are like very uh, non, then in 22, we've got Alex, Bonnie, Colin, Danielle, Earl, Fiona, Gaston, uh, Hermione, Ian, Julia, Carl, Martin, Owen, Richard. <coughs> Tobias and Walter. We already have Walter. So, so we need to figure out Marco Polo. We could call him just Marco Polo. We'll call him Marco for short. Marco Polo. Lorenzo. There it is. Um, for your pet, Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Raphael would fit in with Eduardo, Javier, Ramon, and Antonio. <laughs> And then they what do you get nicknamed, Lowe? Like the stuff. Rocky. 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 Is the newest one on top of the pile? No, he's, um, he was at the bottom. I'm just getting a little mini right here that looks newer. Uh, does he have a narrow blaze down his forehead? He do It doesn't come all the way down to the nose. No. Yeah. Okay, I see him. He has some neurosane, though. Yeah. And he has, like, this little weird little on his left side. Okay. No dots. eating well. Did Linda try any chicken with her, or is she just not interested? She last tried some of that with her, and she wasn't interested in that. Chicken? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, I know. I think Donna cooked some chicken for her. Around their fridge. Do we have? We only have two dots. We only have. So, yeah, you just switched them up. But that I, doesn't sound right. No, because I thought this, maybe the big one was. No. I right. Go back, Yay. All right, let me just go back. Number two. What's number two? Number two is wide white blaze to neck, white to white neck, black dot on the left side of neck. Oh, okay, so that we did do the wrong one. Um, okay, dot. so there is one with a black dot on the left side, so it's got no kiss me dot. That's what we got. All right, that's a girl. Yep. So maybe this one? Is this one? Excuse me. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Hey, right, so this is number two. This is number two. And you might want to put. Oh, that has. Oh, no, that's our dog. That was white. One. 
I'm not good at this. We're, we're screwed up. Dot. All right. Here's a dot. With a little dot. That's a female. Yep. And that's the newest male. All right. So. So. All right. Go back to number one. <laughs> number one. Number one has a dot on it. White neck, two small yep. spots on back. Back swoosh on left side of the neck. Swish on the left side of the neck. Yep. Okay. Number one we got correct. Okay. Now we have to distinguish number two. Number two. That's, I don't think that one, that one came later. That was after. Wide white blaze to white neck. Black dot on left side of neck. No kiss. Oh, maybe that. Is that it, maybe? What? No kiss. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. 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 Alright.
the same. Right. So, so you have the big, big guy. Yeah. I was going to say, who's the name of the big guy? Eduardo, I think Eduardo fits the big guy. So I was thinking Harvey only because of Harvey was such a big storm and did all that damage to Texas. Okay, so it changed into Harvey. So Harvey that is the biggest one four. Well, he was one something. One, one yeah. eight. Yeah. No, no, no one, one that. bigger than that. So was it Javier? Or Javier? Yeah. Javier. One eight. Are we gonna change to Javier? Like Harvey is. We're gonna, okay, so he's J A. J A B I E R. B I E R. Javier. The big one the small end. Uh -huh. That's one eight. Okay. Really? He was number four. The biggest one. Was he like one fifteen or something? Seven. He was one eight. But was there one that was bigger than that? No, he was number he was number four. Okay. Um all right, who else we got? Um, sorry, scroll. Um, Eduardo or Ramon? Ramon should be the big, big kiss on the top of the head. Yeah. Um, kiss me dot on forehead. Yeah. Is he the number two, maybe? Three. Three. And it's Ramon. R A M O N E. <laughs> Who is a little kiss me dot? What are your other names? Raphael Antonio. Oh, wait, wait. Antonio would be the little kiss me. Is the one. Is Ramon the one with the kiss me dot on the forehead? <laughs> We've got two kiss me dots. All right. But one has a blaze. One doesn't. The one doesn't have a full mantle, so that's going to be Antonio. So white neck, two small spots on back. Oh, we haven't gotten to that we one yet. We haven't gotten to that one. We haven't gotten to that one yet. Um, wide white blaze to white neck, black dot on left side neck. That was this one, the little dot. <coughs> no, I don't think that we even have that number two doesn't even have a, a okay. dot. I don't think. Then kiss me dot on forehead, white bib all the way down to right, left front. Ooh, that's a Ramon. Okay, got that. That's right. Ramon. How much do I weigh? Shh. No, that's the little one. <laughs> Ramon has the big, big dot. <coughs> So Ramon. Yeah, well, we haven't gotten to dots yet because then another dot comes. Doesn't the little dot come later? Little dot comes after big dot. What's number? Who's number? No, you reversed it. Did I? So. Are there two in a row with kiss me dots? No, I think I think one of the dots, the biggest. The black dot on the left side neck. Can I interrupt you for a second? Yep. Under <laughs> that washcloth is Harleen's. I think the big one pound eight yeah. guy. Yeah, is the one has the big dot. <laughs> there you are. There you are. <laughs> Give me a description of the 1.8. Chaos, you're going on the back deck. Knock it off. White, white blaze to white neck. Black dot on left side of neck. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody else here? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It doesn't take much. Can we borrow the book? Two seconds. Maybe we should start with number one. Yep, and we have a name now from you. Okay, I'll put that in the 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
She's usually in competition with Watson as far as attention. You know, she's she's right up there. When she goes outside, she just runs and runs and runs and runs, and her and Watson uh-huh. just play and, and collide into each other, and they're just crazy. Hmm. But she, um, towards the end of her pregnancy, she she was really calming down. She was kind of snappy at, at <laughs> Watson. And she probably can't keep up. She's, like, <sighs> She's pretty much saying, "Just leave me alone." But when I first got her, oh, she was she was crazy. Hmm. But she's gonna calm down just like her mom. It's gonna be awesome. Do you like your babies? We've got two back here. They're just seeping. Be careful, okay? Grace have give you cookie time, huh? Every day, cookie time, right? Yeah. All of us were so surprised at the spots that came out. Hmm. Are we calling the hurricane? You could. <laughs> That'd be cute. You know, you ever happen to someone? What? Do we have the hot hands with someone? Did we have them with someone? Yeah, you would have someone in the hot No. I don't think so. We made one up, though. Antonio. Right, well. Eventually, he'll be one. <laughs> <laughs> Sometime after 2022. <laughs> Probably within the 1950s. <laughs> it's a retired it's name. It's retired. That's what you don't know about. <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Pick it up, Blake. Yeah. 